Hey everyone, I'm Jenny Sauer. I'm a mobile solutions specialist here with the USDA APHIS PPQ End User Tools Group, and this is a continuation of the video series introducing you to the ArcGIS Field Maps application. In this segment, we're going to talk about a new feature available in Field Maps, which is the markup layer. How to use it, what it means, and how to do it well. Here we are on my PPQ configured iPad in the ArcGIS Field Maps application, and I am signed into the stage environment, which is where I should be to play around in a training map. And how do I know that? Well, I know I'm signed into it, but I also see this training group, and I wouldn't see this PPQ End User Tools training group and all of these maps that begin with training capitalized if I was in the production portal. So I know that I'm safe to play around and show you a little bit here in these maps. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this grasshopper offline map area that I have downloaded previously and show you the markup layer. This three dots or overflow menu has lots of cool little features that could be useful. Don't forget to check that out in the ArcGIS Field Maps user guide. There's a whole section on all of these little features that are labeled as additional features in the ArcGIS Field Maps Getting Started Guide. And the markup feature itself is on page 15. So if you want more information and some screenshots or details on any of these, have a look in the Getting Started Guide for ArcGIS Field Maps on our Mobile Data Collection Tools webpage. Check out that link in the description below. I'm just going to give you a brief demonstration. So if I go ahead and just tap markup, that opens that markup layer basically for editing. And the key thing to take away is the markup layer appears only on your device. It's kind of like writing in your diary at this point or in a little side notepad. This layer is not an official data collection layer, so bear that in mind. That being said, it could be used for any number of little notes to take. I can see all kinds of of uses, maybe mark that a dog is out in a, in a certain spot or that there's a certain area to be avoided when placing traps or when, when surveying for any reason. As long as it's understood that this is not an official data layer and it's really only living on this device. There are ways to share it if you need to and I'll show you that too. Basically you have the option here to add. So if I tap this add button it collects a point I'm also able to draw with my hand, so I can make a little heart shape. I could make um, all kinds of little area shapes, draw attention to something. And this is going to continue to appear in my view as long as that markup layer is enabled or visible. I can go ahead and trash those marks. I can clear all of the markup layer and start afresh if I want to. On a point, I could make some notes on this marker by tapping on the marker or pulling up. I can add a label. To, to this spot if I want to. I could make some notes. So I could say like house with cookies, for instance. Maybe when I'm in this neighborhood, this is a good house to stop by and have a look at. When you're all done, you can hit done and then go back to your layers menu to turn your markup layer on or leave it off if you prefer. I'll exit out of the layers menu. Going back into markup, let's say I want to share it. There's this option right next to done for a share menu and you can screenshot the image where the location or the, the zoom level that you are or you could request that the markup layer be shared. I could choose airdrop to another device. The other device would have to have airdrop enabled. I could email, use Teams, Outlook, Chrome, Notes, OneDrive, OneNote Planner, all these things. Because I have these apps on my um, iPad, you may not. One app that you probably do have because it's a native app is Notes and Airdrop. You could copy it, you could save it to a file, you can do all kinds of things. But the key point, the key takeaway for the markup layer is to use it for personal use. Be careful what you put in here. Be sure that you're not placing PII or other sensitive information in here. Just realize the markup layer is not an official data collection layer. It is internal to your device. So it literally lives here like it is a, a personal diary unless you were to share it. When you're done, you hit done and just go back to collecting data as you would. I'd like to talk about one other really useful feature in this overflow, and that's the measure tool. This tool has changed in its appearance just a little bit in field maps. 
this tool existed in Collector, you used to choose between a length or an area, and now both are automatically displayed. If I want to, wherever this crosshair is landing, because I've moved it around here on the map, I'm going to kind of try to measure where these railroad tracks and the road meets up, and I'll add a point. And then if I move the map, I'm going to get all the way to this intersection and get the length. I can add another point and now see it's keeping track of my length. There's lots of uses for a measure tool. Maybe if you're trying to place traps in an equidistant way or you need to measure kind of as the bird flies kind of idea. This is a great way to measure a length from point to point. But let's keep going adding points and if I want to I can kind of get the area of this little field next to the railroad tracks just by pulling and dragging and adding a point. Now I've got the full length is one mile even. That's kind of cool. I ended up with an even number. And let's keep going and close this into an area. And see, it senses that I'm getting close to another point and I've got the option to close the area. I'm going to close that area. So now we've got this little triangle measurement here and we know the perimeter is 1.8 miles because that's the length being measured there and the area then is 0.14 miles squared. Possibilities are endless. You can hit clear and do another measurement or you can go ahead and tap done and be done with it and go on about collecting your data. So that's the measure tool. Mm -hmm.